Wow, but look at these buildings. Wow, look at this. Oh, look at this. Man, maybe I should try one. All right, this is my first churro in Mexico. I think that's the Zocalo. Absolutely beautiful. Mexico City, guys. This is so sick. There's so much more. This is a massive, massive city. What's up, guys? Right now, I'm in a new country. This is Mexico City in Mexico. This is a country I've wanted to go to for a long time. And uh, we've actually been here um, into Mexico a couple times, but never in the heart of Mexico. I've been on cruises over to Ensenada. I've gone to a resort in Cancun. I've walked over the border to uh, Tijuana. But this is my first time actually doing the real traveling on foot, rather than in the, like, the, well, I don't know how to describe it, but they kind of make it like a, a tourist city just for, like, people vacationing. Um, and I feel like it's not real Mexico, so this is my first time entering, like, the real Mexico. So right now, I'm walking toward the actual historic center. You can see there's a lot of people. Um, to my left, there's actually a big gate here, and this is blocking off a really massive park. And I'm not sure why it's blocked off right now. I'm kind of bummed because I was, um, I've been researching a little bit, and it looks like Mexico City is very well known for having a lot of greenery. And um, the first park I get to is all blocked off. Yeah, so there's street performers. Um, Tons of like pop-up booths where they're selling all kinds of stuff from like electronics to candy, snacks. Um, man, this is super exciting. I kind of took a break from travel for a little while. Um, I've been at home with my wife in America and uh, I'm finally solo traveling again for after a very long while. I think we've got Bumblebee right over here. But look at this. Um, one really cool thing about Mexico City is it's a very, very old city. I think it's literally thousands of years old, built by the, I'm gonna butcher this, but the Aztecs, and I think it's like the Teotihuacans. Sorry guys, but yeah, there's some very, very old buildings. This is one of the most dense cities in the entire of the Americas, with I think over 20 million people. So one of the densest cities in the world. And yeah, it's, it's full of history, full of buildings. There's a lot of museums. You can see there's jewelry over here, another shoe shining booth. I'm definitely gonna have to do that soon. That sounds cool. I've never done a shoe shining before. Um, right over here is the Palacio de Bellas Artes. And you can see there's a bunch of just statues on the outside of it. Um, I personally am not too much of a like of a museum guy but when you're in a place like this you kind of have to do a few right so i'm for sure gonna have to make sure i stop by and check some out but yeah let's keep walking <laughs> i don't know what this is we have gremlins chucky those are super scary shoelaces i think shoe soles got a bunch of socks over here let's get closer look at these hats socks i'm pretty excited to start figuring out how like much things cost now i actually got in last night and uh i was hungry so i got some tacos and i'm still like really confused about the conversion but i think what it is is basically 20 pesos uh, mexican pesos is about one us dollar so 100 pesos is five bucks we got like crystal balls wow look at this viva mexico oh look at these guys <laughs> Super cool. So you can go take a picture with those gold, whatever those are. Got people with megaphones. Look at these sunglasses over here. Phone cases. Hola. I definitely need to work on my Spanish. Um, I took Spanish for four years in high school and I am surprised how much I remember because I'm actually able to like somehow just know certain words when I need them. It's kind of cool, but you guys will see. You guys will see. We got someone selling ices over here. I'm about to cross this big street. Look at this. This is a huge, huge um, crosswalk. You can see there's a bunch of people with motorcycles. All of these pink and white taxis or taxis uh, so those are the kind of taxis the typical we can just flag them down but one of the most popular and safest modes of transportation is taking a uber you um, i prefer uber and you know grab in other countries because you can link your card you don't have to deal with cash you lock the the, 
like you see what it costs right away rather than finding out at the end um, and it's very affordable um, I haven't taken Ubers so far other than from the airport um, but the city center is only 15 minutes away from the airport and I think it cost me like 12 bucks to get here in serious traffic wow look at this look how many people are so this is called an organiero I think I'm saying that right we have like an organ hola gracias <laughs> so these things are all over the city it's so funny uh, I think they've been around for a long time but I'm gonna have to do more research on that because I do not know what the purpose is but it's just a really cool vibe in the city super super nice out I like it and they're always smiling Wow look at this I can't tell if it's uh, like a museum or a restaurant it says cafe San Francisco Passe come in Passe. I'm guessing that means come in. I feel like it's, if you know a little bit of Spanish, sometimes you can figure out more just from one seeing like English written next to it, but two, a lot of the words sound kind of similar. One of the most important ones I've had to learn so far is baño for bathroom. That comes in handy a lot. Yeah, so you can see I'm actually walking on this like yellow brick road. Um, and it's super long, super wide open, all the way back there. I think this is always blocked off. This is never a driving street. And it's just surrounded with shops, restaurants, bars, um, street vendors. Really cool. It seems very, um, not like, I'm trying to figure out what city this reminds me the most of. But yeah, it's definitely like an outlet area. Super nice. And where we're walking is toward the Zocalo. So the actual city center has several um, very large buildings, all very historic. Um, the Zocalo, I, I'm trying to remember what it's actually, like what it is. I think it's a monument of some kind, but right at the end of the street, is that, that's where we're going. And we're gonna be able to see some of those buildings. Let's see, we have Samsonite, that's a suitcase thing, some jewelry shops. We have um, someone playing some music. Wow, but look at these buildings. The architecture is just so beautiful over here. You can see that even just the walls have like it, uh, statues carved into them. Super, super beautiful. Um, I'll have to make another video about the hostel I'm staying in because the hostel wall literally looks like this. And I have just like a little, a little overlooking area where I can look at the city. Super cool, great way to like start the morning. I woke up today looked out the window and I just see like cars honking, start hearing the sounds, which goes late into the night. So it's kind of hard to sleep, but nice way to start the day because you, you already feel the vibe of the city like entering the room. We have some fashion stores, dresses, and then you can see there's a, a bunch of the typical fast food chains. We have Carl's Jr. over here, Burger King over here, Starbucks, of course, Centro de Postres. Postres. That's a new one for me. All right. We've got another street crossing. And as you can see, we're getting closer over there to some very large buildings at the end of the street. And that's where we're headed. But yeah, I mean, look at this place. It feels so good to be walking around again, traveling after being at home. Don't get me wrong. I do love being at home. I get to work out, make a routine. Because I find that <laughs> when I'm traveling, I... I say I'm gonna work out, but I don't, and I do not eat healthy, because I wanna enjoy all the amazing food that there is. And that's something I haven't even shown at all today. Um, so far since I've been here, I've had tacos. I have been watching a few videos and TikToks and stuff, and there's a lot of really delicious looking food. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna gain a few pounds while I'm here for sure. Look at this, we have some, some flags hanging down. Hotel Ritz, we've got an American flag. Mexican flag? Brazil? I don't want to name the ones I don't know because I'm going to get them wrong. I'm sorry, guys. All right. Yeah, let me know in the comments if you know what those flags are. I should know this. I'm sorry. But uh, this is my first vlog in a while, you guys. It's been a while. Super excited to be here. It's nice to be walking around with my camera again. 
Um, miss you guys. Centro Joyero. These are some big jewelry stores. Um, I, I should probably get a little closer and like show the insides of some of these places. So this is just uh, Invictus, it's just a typical department store. Um, I'll definitely have to make another video where I do some actual shopping. Uh, I'm not ready to get into it in this one because I want to make it to the end of the street. But there's so many things I just walked by that I have to check out. Like I could probably spend days just in the places I've shown you in this video, but there's so much more. This is a massive, massive city. So it looks like this is an intersection of another like non-driving street. We've got some shoe shiners over here, a magazine stand. Oh, look at this, we have churros. Churros are very, very popular over here. And maybe I should try one. Hola. Uh, uh, one churro, please. Por favor. Uno. Ten pesos. Diez? Yes. Okay. Diez pesos is ten pesos. I'll have to show you guys what the money looks like. Perfect. Le pongo chocolate, leche. Uh, chocolate. And what is this? Lechera. Let, yes, please. See. Si. I don't know. If people typically get both, but I'm gonna do it. Oh yeah. Gracias. De nada. Provechito, provechito. Gracias. Gracias. Mmm. Delicious. Delicioso. <laughs> oh, man. All right, this is my first churro in Mexico. You guys are probably going to tell me, Brad, there's like so many better churros in Mexico, but something about getting street food out here. So I say that because there's a lot of really famous um, shops. There's like cafes, shops, and restaurants that all have super high quality of like the Mexican foods and treats. And uh, I've been seeing them as I'm just walking on the way here. And just getting a random street food one, this probably isn't the best quality or like the best tasting one that I'm gonna find, but just being able to do it on the street here is cool. That's something I, I don't think I've seen in any other country that I've been to. Mm. But it's delicious. And I don't think I've ever had a churro with um, leche or a chocolate, chocolate dripped onto it. Mmm, super good. So I think I'm walking past another very historic building. It looks very old, but kind of blocked off with some graffiti. So the entrance over here, so I wonder if it's available. Oh yeah, look at that. I think you can go in there. Or maybe it's just construction. Who knows? Sorry if I'm like talking with food in my mouth. We've got another churro person over here. Hmm. No idea where I'm gonna put my trash. Let's see if I can like wrap this up clean. All right. Wow, look at this. So we have Centro Joyero. Centro Joyero. I wonder if that's the same store. This is original. Mandera 54, but look at this. They're huge. I'm gonna step in just a little bit. You can see there's a massive, massive jewelry shops. That's a huge chain right there. Lots of rings. But if you look back, you can see how big the store is. There's like multiple, I can see three stories right here and I don't even know if that's where it stops. Massive, look at that. It's a purse made out of gold. These are, Huge jewelry stores. Okay. Uh, Krishna, my wife, I might stop back here later. If you watch this, you better hold me to it. Wow, look how, oh my gosh, I thought it was ending at the end of that sign, but this whole Centro Joyero. 
Wow. Massive. Trying to get tattooed. Uh, maybe later. Maybe later. Gracias. I'm for sure going to have to get a tattoo while I'm here. <laughs> Okay, I'm still walking by more jewelry shops. This is crazy. We've got Trendy Accessories, Pandora, Doxa, La Esmeralda. What do you guys think of my, my Mexican accent? <laughs> I don't know why. All right, look at this. We've got another stand here with a bunch of stuff. Let's take a closer look. We've got some maps of the city. Oh, this is sick. We have La Gran Ciudad de Mexico, Mexico. Let's see if we can figure out where we are. This is only 120, so that costs about six dollars US, I think. Um, I, <laughs> I have no idea where we are actually. Let's see, maybe on this one. Zocalo. Okay, here. So I think we're on this street right here, maybe here. But we're walking. We just walked. Past this park, yeah, so right here. I started here, walked in through here, and then I think this Mayo, five Mayo, Cinco Mayo, Cinco Mayo, no. I think this street brought us all the way and we're about to get to the Zocalo. So let's keep on going. Wow, look at this, Ciclo Taxi. <laughs> that looks super fun. All right, well, I guess there's one type of transportation I did not mention, a Ciclo Taxi. I, uh, I've seen a couple of those around and I think there's different kinds too. Like that one is like like a dune buggy where it's all wrapped up in a one like piece of metal. But I've seen other ones where it's like a bicycle or like a tricycle pulling another piece. So I'm gonna have to try them all. It looks fun. And it's cool. I mean like everyone I interact with so far, they, I'm not like, I'm very much not a great Spanish speaker, but people kind of like smile and work with me even though um, they may not speak English. We get it done. Um, you'll notice there's like a ton of security and police all over the place. I bet you when we get in there, there's going to be like a lot more too. Um, and I don't know why that is. And it does two things for me. It makes me feel like a sense of like intimidation because they all have guns. But also it makes me feel safe, you know, because there's a lot of people watching and protecting. So I think it, overall I like that. Tacos de Canasta Los Especiales. Let's see if we can look at this. Mmm, I can smell it. It smells bomb. Icy's Santa Clara. Chili Balam. Oh my gosh. This looks good. Whoa. Look at this. So you've got chips, gummy worms, a chili thing. Wow, this is like candy plus chips. I've never like heard of that combination. We've got more flags over here and I think I made it to the end. All right, so as you can see, we just walked past the pole and it ends right here. And here we have it. There is, I think that's the Zocalo. Absolutely beautiful. Um, there's a, a big tent here and it looks like there's oh, multiple tents and it looks like there's a bunch of like markets and shops and then right behind it there's a massive Mexican flag. I wonder if we can get one big gust of wind so I can get the flag up in the air. But yeah, this is Mexico City. It feels so good to be out here guys. I'm, I'm telling you like, oh, I love travel so much. It's one of my favorite things in the world and just being able to uh, go do it again. I mean, I miss my wife. We did some travel together. Um, I would rather she was here with me so we could do this together. But still, she can't. That will come later. I'm enjoying my time, my time alone for now. <laughs> All right, check this out. So I'm gonna, I'll probably walk by some of these shops in, the, in a little bit. And then, oh my gosh, look, there's a stage up here. You can see everyone's um, dressed in like Mexican attire. Uh, it looks like there's like a center, central plaza area. And I mentioned earlier, I think there's multiple historical buildings here. So that's one over there. Let's see if I can see the, the name. Make sure I'm not getting it wrong. Um, I can't see anything. I think that's the Zocalo. Here, let me pull out my phone real quick. Oh wow, look at that. 
There's a, a pyramid. I think it's fake though. <laughs> but yeah, look at this. This might be my thumbnail right here. <laughs> Mexico City, guys. This is so sick. We have the Ciudad Pluricultural. Pluricultural. Stage. I want to see some people playing music up there. And then, yeah, there's this nice big open plaza. There's a Mexican flag there, and I think that's another building. So yeah, let me pull out my phone, see if I can tell you guys the names of these places. We've got, where am I? Ah. So the Plaza de la Constitucion. I think that is this plaza right here that we're looking at. And then Cathedral Metropol. Litana. I guess that's what that is. And then uh, Templo Mayor, I think, is on this side over here. And then against this wall is the National Palace. Okay, so you can't really see it. Let me walk around. Actually, I'm going to walk through, and then we'll go look at the National Palace. Okay. So this is just one huge tent, and I see that there's one on that side, uh, on the far side, another one next to it that we see here. Another huge one, and it looks like there's at least one more on the other side. This is a massive, massive like marketplace just right in the middle of the central plaza. Super cool. Looks like there's uh, some maps and information. There's um, looks like they're gonna be doing music at different times, dances. So it looks like there's a whole itinerary of events that go on on this plaza. Oh my gosh, look at this. I think this is a, a like a Aztec thing. Wow. Cool. All right. Let's walk through the shops. See what we find. And then we'll walk across to the National Palace. All right. Tons of people in here. It's nice that it's shaded. Um, oh, I can't enter here. The weather is like a little bit overcast. I feel like it's like the, the absolute perfect travel weather because it's 1230, 73 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm wearing shorts and a t-shirt. I'm not sweating, maybe a little bit, but it's so comfortable. All right, looks like this is a bunch of aguas frescas, some horchata. Okay, oh my gosh, look at this place. It's like, loud with like the, the mumble of just people speaking. I can't understand any of this, but look, we have like a full on um, grill right here, flat top. People serving drinks. Wow. Oh my gosh, this looks awesome. I might have to get something right now. I think that's beans, maybe. Hmm. I think I need to learn how to say, what is that? Ani Arai is Thai. <laughs> wow, this is amazing. All right, I'm gonna have to come back here and do a full market video because this is super cool. I didn't even like, I had no expectation of all this stuff to be here. I thought it was just gonna be like buildings, you know what I mean? Wow. Oh my gosh, everything smells so good. Hola. Wow. Oh my gosh. Let's see. Woo! <laughs> wow. I have a lot to learn here, because like, there's so many foods, I just don't even know what it is. Like that seems like it's like a marinated pork or something, and like some pieces of fat that looks delicious. But then some of this stuff, I'm like, I don't even know. What is this? Hande chocolate con queso. Oh my gosh, chocolate and cheesecake, uh, cheese bread. Wow. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. Um, <laughs> I think I need to buy something. I'm like getting so appetized right now. Oh, medicina. Okay, so these are different. There's there's different stuff going on here. We've got Circulo de Sabores. I don't know what that is, but there's like a stage. <laughs> Hola. That guy's got a 
elote, elote, which is something I've I've had in America and I'm super excited to try here. It's like corn with a bunch of stuff on top. Um, it looks like there's less. What is this? It's different. Something different. It's like, dude, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. What is this? Traditional Oaxaca Navaria. Is that ice cream? I need, I'm gonna get some, but I have no idea what this is. Limon Rayado. I wonder if they're just keeping it from freezing, so they have to keep it moving around. Interesting. Interesting thing. Huh. Well, everyone's a little bit busy, so I'm gonna come back for that. I think it's a good time for me to end the video, you guys. Uh, I don't know how long this is, but I feel like I might have gone a little bit too long. Uh, I'm standing right in front of the National Palace. And the other side of me is the Central Plaza. It's a massive um, uh, Mexican flag. I think there was just a big dust like I was wanting before, so. <laughs> Perfect way to end the video. Thank you guys for watching. If you like these videos, help me support my channel by clicking the like button and clicking subscribe so you never miss any of my uploads. Click the notification bell if you want to get notified. Follow me on Instagram at whereisbrad. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm about to go eat a bunch of Mexican food. <laughs> see you guys later. Peace.